Kamala Harris. It's up. Good to be. Nice to see you. Have fun. Thank you. Welcome. Former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris sparred last night on the debate stage for the first and possibly last time. The 90-minute debate took place in Philadelphia's National Constitution Center. There was no live audience and candidates' microphones were muted when it was not their turn to speak. Trump attempting to win over suburban voters while painting Harris out as an out-of-touch liberal. And Harris was tasked with reintroducing herself to the American people while she took time to shine a light on Trump's weak spots. Now the first question of the night focused on the economy, a top concern for voters. Trump and Harris both touting their respective plans while attacking each other's. Donald Trump has no plan for you. And when you look at his economic plan, it's all about tax breaks for the richest people. I am offering what I describe as an opportunity economy. Uh, she doesn't have a plan. She copied Biden's plan, and it's like four sentences, like run, spot, run. Four sentences that are just, oh, we'll try and lower taxes. Harris and Trump both recently laid out more details of their economic plans. Trump is looking to expand his 2017 tax cuts and proposed cutting the overall corporate tax rate for companies that make their products in the U.S. Harris wants to implement a federal ban on price gouging for food and groceries to combat the increase in food costs. She also is pledging tax cuts for middle class households. Vice President Kamala Harris has staked much of her campaign on reproductive rights. She blasted former President Trump for nominating the Supreme Court justices who struck down Roe v. Wade and said Trump would sign a national ban. Now, the moderators outright asked Trump if he would veto a national abortion ban. He said he wouldn't have to because Congress would never get it approved. That's why he has repeatedly said it should be left with the states. But each individual state is voting. It's the vote of the people now. It's not tied up in the federal government. I did a great service in doing it. It took courage to do it. And the Supreme Court had great courage in doing it. And I give tremendous credit to those six justices. And now in over 20 states, there are Trump abortion bans, which make it criminal for a doctor or nurse to provide health care. In one state, it provides prison for life. Trump abortion bans that make no exception even for rape and incest, which understand what that means. Trump says he supports exceptions for rape, incest, and the life of the mother. Recent polling shows about half of Americans trust Harris to do a better job of handling abortion policy than they do Trump, 51 to 27 percent. Even among Republicans, six out of ten trust Trump over Harris on reproductive issues, with 15 percent saying they trust Harris more. Vice President Harris attacked Trump for pushing Congress not to pass an immigration bill ahead of the election. Former President Trump says Harris and Biden's immigration policies are destroying America. Do you know what happened to that bill? Donald Trump got on the phone, called up some folks in Congress and said, kill the bill. And you know why? Because he'd prefer to run on a problem instead of fixing a problem. She's destroying this country, and if she becomes president, this country doesn't have a chance of success. Not only success, we'll end up being Venezuela on steroids. Border crossings hit an all-time high in December of 2023 at just below 302,000 encounters. That number has declined since then. In July, there were roughly 104,000 encounters at the southern border. The Heritage Foundation's Project 2025 initiative came up during the debate. Vice President Kamala Harris warned Project 2025 is what you will get with a second Trump presidency. Trump again distanced himself from the plan. What you're going to hear tonight is a detailed and dangerous plan called Project 2025 that the former president intends on implementing if he were elected again. I have nothing to do with Project 2025. Uh, that's out there. I haven't read it. I don't want to read it purposely. I'm not going to read it. As detailed by the conservative think tank Heritage Foundation, Project 2025 outlines a plan to expand presidential powers under Trump. Now, during closing arguments, Harris used her now familiar line, we're not going back, saying America heard, quote, two very different ver visions for our country. One that is focused on the future and one that is focused on the past, an attempt to take us backward. While Trump's closing statement focused on pinning the Biden presidency on Harris, 
calling them the, quote, worst president and worst vice president in the history of our country.